Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Ada, and I'm a Canada-based YouTuber. If today is your first time seeing my videos, thank you so much for stopping. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the like button from the title already you know what i want to talk about <laughs> i am here to tell you guys my personal experience living in canada for one year like just like yesterday i'm already a year old in this country so, <laughs> so guys this is not likely not going to be the regular video this obviously i have this little man here he won't let me film without you know carrying him so i decided to like just go ahead and do this video so that's what it is <laughs> he's seen himself in the viewfinder and kind of feel excited about it so let's get started first of all i just talk about uh, some of the things i didn't expect everything i've experienced living in canada it's not like i'm going to talk about everything but i'll just be point things that i know that could be beneficial to you guys and then talk about them um, i wrote down a few tips here so once in a while i'll go through it and see yeah so first of all on my list is that canada is a very expensive city maybe coming from where my home country i never put that into consideration that it could be expensive living here so when i moved here just last year it was for me no matter how much money you come into this country with by the time you convert it is as useless as anything you can think of as long as the money is not usd it's not pounds the money is useless here. so <laughs> moving here i discovered that it's quite an expensive country so if you're one of those immigrants or if you're one of those people a student a pr person and you want to move to this country just have it at the back of your head that it can be quite expensive yeah it is a, an expensive country in the sense that cost of living is high cost of housing is very very expensive so i think when you put groceries and other expenses you know your bill will go up so that's why it's expensive rent here is not cheap it's not for the faint hearted it is an expensive city the number two on my list will be if you're not a person that likes your company if, if you're not content or you're not satisfied living by yourself or being by yourself then i feel like you might likely get the price not just the price you might not like it here because this is a country where everyone minds their business neighbors come out they pretend like they don't see you they might have been your neighbors for thousands of years and then they come out and the next morning they do not care whether you exist or not so it makes it kind of hard i see people on tiktok talk about these things and tell you oh um it's so difficult living in canada this is just the reason why it is <laughs> The next door neighbor just don't care about you. So to the time that you talk too much, you move around too much, you like to make too much friends, you like to associate with people a lot, you like to be in a company of people, you're not okay or satisfied with your own company, then this place might likely get too boring for you. Yeah, this is it. Then the next on my list is it's easy to have good friends here. Like I've had people who feel like they have outgrown me i don't feel angry i don't feel sad about it i only just see it as a phase of life that will you know pass so <coughs> jump stop stop now baby stop it so it is easy for people to outgrow you here and it is and it is also easy for you to you know kind of outgrow other people so that's how it works here so it's fine like when you see that happen to you don't feel too bad at first i didn't like it but after a while i'm like what the fuck i, I don't care who cares this is one of the things i notice here that it's not good but in the midst of it what happens life goes on the next thing on my list to be you don't expect too much from people not just people friends because that way when they start you know acting up 
it is easy for you to just move away because everyone here is busy you might feel like oh this person is supposed to be my friend this person is supposed to always be there for me shit happens and when it happens what happens you have to learn to move on so do not expect too much you know we nigerians from back home we are all we feel always entitled if you expect too much from people and they disappoint you it becomes very difficult for you so everyone here is busy everyone has one thing or the other they're chasing if it's not school it is work it is family a lot of people here has one thing they are going for and because of that it makes it very difficult for people to you know always 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 be there for you so when you expect less from people when you don't feel entitled because they're your friends it makes it easy for you to you know move on with life when they are not there or when they are not available to cater for your needs so one thing i've learned is that not expecting too much from anyone here will like go a long way to save your ass it will go a long way to you know protect your heart from you know uh being broken it is easy for anyone to have heartbreak here but at the same time i feel like it's just um also good for you to manage your expectation that way when things happen you just you know transition or move on with life without too much drama or without too much stress or without too much heartbreak yeah another bad thing that i noticed is that i'll call it bad but i'm going to talk about the benefit of this one i'm talking about i'm going to talk about the benefit later on so another bad thing that i noticed here is that the tax is too much like in the, i know back home that sometimes i keep comparing but i just have to compare sometimes back home when they say 7.5 they don't actually take 7.5 but here if they say it's 15 percent they're going to charge you 15 percent so it is easy for you to come and say oh i want to buy a bottle of water and then you say the price is a dollar 50 cent and then you go to pay and you're saying two dollars to something sense and you're like why when i had this come how did this happen yeah the 15 percent is applicable to that bottle of water you want to buy so that's how bad it is that situation here is massive is mad it's being taken across all borders food groceries rent everywhere you get taxed for it so the tax level here is very high and if you're not prepared for it <laughs> that alone can deal with you so these are like a few things i think uh will make you you know want to reconsider coming to canada if you have that in mind already i'm not saying reconsider like these are like things you should prepare your mind for so you don't come here and your ex expectation does not meet your reality yeah another thing um here is housing crisis is everywhere so it's one thing that people are still finding it difficult you know to deal with uh it is now like a normal thing for us here it's now very easy to say oh my rent is this and this and someone will not look at you like why well, are you spending that kind of money on rent alone so yeah these are the things that i feel like when i came in here it was a shocker for me because i wasn't expecting those things i mentioned i can't remember what my expectations were when i was moving to canada but some of the things i mentioned were not on the list of my expectations i didn't see them coming now another set of things i want to talk about are the good part of living in canada this is my favorite part it the bad might feel so overwhelming but the good i kind of try to you know balance it sometimes i'm like oh, oh i cannot expect everything you know to be rosy but the, the good and the bad has to you know augment each other sometimes they're either on the same level or the good will act shadow the bad but these part i'm going to talk about are like things that uh, i really enjoy living in canada for the past one year i'll start off with the health system yeah the health system is slow if, you, if you're pregnant or if you've given birth here in canada you will agree with me that when you go into that labor room the medical practitioners will do everything humanly possible everything 
be humanly i had to lay emphasis on the word humanly they will do everything in their power to ensure that you and your baby comes out safe and not just that they do everything in their power to make sure you get good help i remember my friend that had an accident and ordinarily if we were back home i don't think by now which is one year later this person would have recovered from that incident but guys i want to assure you that this person uh, had to go in for a, a surgery and this surgery was the best decision the person made because if based off of the accident and how it happened if this person hadn't done the surgery I don't think it would have worked out well now because back home they will say oh don't do it don't do it don't do it don't worry it. it will heal this would happen this will happen but uh, you know, they did everything in their power uh, to ensure that um this person could get healing could use that part of their body again and it's been uh, amazing so one thing i've learned is that they will do everything medically possible, humanly possible, to ensure that you, your health, and anything that has to do with your health is, you know, successful. This is why you see people as old as 90 years, 100 years, so strong and healthy in this country. Why? Because most of them are sustained either by pills or one thing or the other, but they have a good medical system that you know enables them to live that long this is it uh, but is it slow would you be put on a wait list yes you will so definitely their wait list is way longer than you know the recovery so this is one thing i love the most here maybe it's one out of five I feel like they're not careless when it comes to people's health another thing on my list is security we all know guys we all know that this is a huge part of our human race so if you're not secured or you don't feel secured in where you're living or in a country of president then there's a problem so i can wake up i've gone to work several times and i come back uh late, as late as 12 1 i'm not scared of anybody you know will harass me i'm not scared anybody's gonna you know beat me up or take my phone or do anything bad to me i remember when i was pregnant one of my scan day appointment was scheduled for 10 p.m and i'm not driving so you can imagine i took the bus to go attend that scan appointment before they got finished it was a few minutes past 11 if not 11 30 and then i had to take the last bus which was leaving which left the transit terminal at 11 55 to get home you can imagine that I'm pregnant and where i live like my boss the bus stop there it's kind of lonely even when i got down at that bus stop i didn't feel scared people would say oh no that kind of junction they will give you better slap i didn't feel scared i even saw someone that came down from the same bus with me and the person was like oh you're pregnant can i have your phone can i have your wallet when we get to where you're going to I'll hand them over to you i don't know this person but i gradually gave i just quickly gave out those things because i needed to carry my my tummy like i couldn't walk I, i'm well i stay is heavy so i had to hold under my tummy just to walk properly first i had to go before me when he got to his own block he just gave me say oh these are your properties should i walk you to your house and i'm like no don't worry i'm fine stay security i've lost my wallet and people that are close to me or if you follow me on instagram you would have noticed that i've posted this thing a couple of times i've lost my wallet in the bus twice i've lost it once in the bus and i've lost it a second time in the grocery mall guys my wallet with everything intact was handed over to me when i went back to ask oh did i leave it here funny enough the one for the transit terminal that was my first time so i panicked but when I got to the transit terminal, they, hand, they just asked me my name, checked in the wallet, my ID card was there, and they handed me my wallet with my money, my credit card, everything intact. The one from the mall, uh, when I got there, this was like five days later, five days later, I got there and they handed me over my wallet and I said my name. So 
there's security and it pays to know that you're in a country where you're secured so if you're one of those who is looking at oh do i see what the hype guys it is worth the hype when it comes to security it is worth it so i will advise you that if you ever thought about coming take that leap of faith you it will be worth it another thing i want to talk about that i love about this country is that education from nursery to um secondary school is free yeah people don't talk about this the rich and the poor goes to the same school this is an opportunity for your children to meet you know very important people you go to the same school, there is no segregation, there is no, oh, my father is this, my father is that, everybody is on the same level. It's how much money you will have in this country, your tax level will increase. Why? Because the country is designed in such a way that they want to put everybody on the same level. They don't want too many rich people and too many poor people. They want everybody to be on the same level. So this is one thing again that I find interesting and I kind of like it here. Everybody is no. <laughs> Everybody is treated equally. Everybody is placed on the same level. Yeah. Another thing I want to talk about that I love is the fact that networking works. Like, I can refer a friend. My company might be looking for someone and say, oh, we need this person. What do you think? Do you have anybody you think can do this job? And then I'll say, yeah, I know Mr. A and B. What does that mean? And in normal day, you might not get the opportunity to you know work in that company but because this person knows you and this person is willing to refer you it gives you a foot into the company so it's not left it doesn't mean that you get employed without an interview no you just have to do also go through the you know the interview phase if you pass they get, they get you you know started on the job they take you they employ you and that way it is easy so the fact that referral works in this country is one thing i love the most again it, this is something i really enjoy then um another thing i love is that nobody's trying to kill me and i mean nobody's trying to kill me i mean that pedestrians when you want to cross the road pedestrians are the king of the road you guys would say what has that got to do this has got to do with everything like i can't be crossing the road and i'm having high bp or oh, i'm running fever because i'm struggling to see just because i walk with my leg I'm, i have to struggle to see how to cross the road it doesn't make sense to me when i see so this is something that i kind of like the fact that i step my feet on the pedestrian walk every car has to stop to let me pass that is one thing i enjoy living in this country another thing i want to talk about is the tax you know i did mention it and said is high now everything that is being taken out you get to see it for instance there is always constant light i have i don't have to struggle and say oh i bought this unit is finished there's no light here there's good road when they take your tax out they also find a way you know to balance it by making sure that you have all the basic amenities at the end of the day you have a working system your car is stolen and you report to the police and before you know it in the next few hours few days few weeks your car you've you know gotten it back you have a working no. system so these are like the things that makes it interesting so that when you're paying for the taxes you just feel good that oh the tax is too much but i get to see the use of it yeah these are like the things you get to see so that thing i love is that yes there might not be much job opportunity but if you decide that of skill you love to upscale your cvs your certifications and all that the tendency of getting better paying job is high so why not take it why not you don't have to what's the word struggle yeah. too much as long as you have the right qualification and all that good stuff you get take, taken for yeah. a job or merit so this is another thing i enjoy i living here as an immigrant as an immigrant. these are like the few things i kind of love and in the last one here i'm like okay is it worth it here it is worth coming here and 
yeah that's it so i just wanted to come in here to share with you guys my personal experiences i'm not gonna say that the past one year has been rosy rosy but i would say that it's been watered it's been like a balance the good and also not so bad <laughs> that's just what it's been for me i know if i had come in here as a permanent resident i felt like it would have been a lot easier so coming in here as a permanent resident will give you an edge over a lot of things so that's just one thing i also noticed um living in canada for the past one year they kind of rate the permanent residents more than they rate the international students even though we're the ones that are giving them the money to sustain the economy so with this whole thing i've mentioned what i say um i regret moving here no i do not regret moving here the past one year has been a journey it's been a, a very interesting journey for me and would i move here again if i have the opportunity yes i will and would i advise anybody i know to move here yes i will so it's up to you these are like the things i just wanted to you know come in here and share with you guys i hope this video you find it very useful if you do please don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll bring this video to an end i will see you guys in my next video bye for now and i love you guys